Making Indian paneer cheese is actually so, so quick and it's a great addition to a vegetarian Indian curry or if you're just frying it up with some lovely spices. It's really simple. All you'll need is two liters of full cream milk, which I have on the stove top and it's coming up to simmering point now about a quarter of a cup of lemon juice and a little bit of salt. But you'll also need some specialist things, just a mixing bowl and a fine sieve. And then I've got some cheesecloth. So I've cut the cheesecloth just into two strips. I'm just gonna line my sieve because I'm going to pour the milk into this once it's all ready. Now this is looking really good. As the milk's coming up to temperature, do give it the occasional stir just to prevent any milk sticking to the sides of the saucepan or on the bottom. This has come up to just barely simmering. Now all you have to do now is add a little bit of salt. So I've got about a teaspoon. So I'll just stir that through and then just add a quarter of a cup of lemon juice because what we want is that reaction between the milk and the acid and that will separate the curds and whey. And as you can see, as soon as you start stirring in that lemon juice, the milk splits and curdles. Ordinarily, you'd sort of freak out at this point, but this is exactly what we need for paneer cheese. Give it a good stir and then allow this mixture to sit for around five to 10 minutes to make sure that the milk is completely separated. Now the milk has been sitting here for around about 10 minutes and you can tell that it's completely split as there's two defined layers. There's the sort of yellowy insipid watery layer and then we've got our milk solid. So this is ready now to be strained through our cheesecloth. And you'll see that we're gonna collect all of that nice firm milk. Just pull that all in. Now, it's best to try and get rid of most of the excess liquid just to use your spatula or a spoon and just press down on the cheese. So that looks good. Now I'm just gonna get the sides of the cheesecloth and wrap this up into a nice little parcel. And again, just to get rid of that excess liquid, just, just squeeze it out. And then we wanna weight down the cheese. So just take a smaller plate place it on top and then I've just got a can of tomatoes but whatever you've got in your pantry that will weight down the cheese and then this is ready to be set in the fridge for at least 15 minutes but up to an hour so the longer that you leave it in the fridge the firmer it's going to be and so the less crumblier it will be when you cut it. So the cheese has been sitting in the fridge for around about 15 minutes and you can see how it's stuck together quite well. To remove it from the cheesecloth, grab a, another chopping board or even a plate and just pop it on top and just flip it over. All recipes using paneer cheese will call for it to be cubed or diced. So we want some nice chunky cubes, maybe about five centimeters wide. And then on the other side, so this cheese is now ready to be used in your favorite Indian curry recipe. Something like a spinach and paneer cheese curry would be beautiful. And it's so quick to make. You can make this cheese in about 30 minutes. And I can tell you now, you'll feel a sense of satisfaction after you've made it yourself.